My name is Chris Els. Um, I'm the Manufacturing Director for KTEC Engineered Fabrics. We're a company that's established in 1978. Uh, we operate in the juice and synthetic space. Uh, we produce a range of products for, um, for construction industry. As part of our manufacturing facility, um, we consume recycled material um, in the format of cut bottle. Um, we actually convert it directly from the cut bottle into a continuous filament which is laid down in a form which is called a mat which we then subsequently needle punch into a consolidated fabric which we sell in a rolled format to our customers. Our biggest impact obviously relates around to the collection of um, uh, the recycled materials or the bottles that goes into the recycling and um, you know, based on Petco's numbers you know, we're talking about a considerable number of people that um, have now income opportunities from the additional capacity that we generate from our line. The capacity of the plant, the nameplate for phase one is four and a half thousand tons. Um, obviously that relates to uh, a percentage more of bottle because of the conversion factor from, um, from the bottle being recycled into a finished product. Um, we have planned for a second phase which will literally double the capacity um, in due time. Um, obviously that will be de dependent on the rate of growth that we can generate out of the market to actually supply into a broader base into the export market. Innovation in the project for us um, was basically looking at the energy consumption of our processes um, and it made a lot of sense for us to actually look at alternatives in regards um, supplementing our power supply. Um, we installed a approximately 613 kilowatt solar array installation. The solar array um, supplements for the site approximately 6 to 7 percent of our capacity and as far as our new project is concerned it will supplement 15 percent and basically it's a grid tight system so we do not store any energy. We operate 24 hours a day so we are still dependent on grid supply. Recycling is not an easy thing, it's not something that happens easily, it's not something that somebody will just put their mind to and say well we're going to make this work. Um, you have actually have to have strategic plans that match any large investment You've got to keep an open mind that the things that you expect are going to happen, they don't always happen, and the things that you never expect will happen will definitely happen. We, um, we feel that a lot of the processes that we've incorporated into our system are um, our own IP, and we feel that the end product actually makes a difference to the recycle industry in terms of the amount of additional bottles that can be collected and used. And um, in addition to that, it's not only for use in, the, in South Africa, but um, an export quality product. The relationship between Petco and KTEC has been a productive one. Um, we have, right from the beginning, our cooperation has resulted in us being able to identify additional suppliers. Um, we've also found the information that we could gather from the work done by Petco in understanding the recycling industry in South Africa as being very vital in parts of our decision in actually deciding to invest in additional capacity for South Africa, still utilising recycled material. Working with Chris is um, very interesting. I think from a quality controls perspective, we couldn't have hoped for a better um, person. Chris made sure that we worked solutions backwards and forwards and then backwards again to ensure that the final outcome was at the absolute highest level. And we've actually shown that we can do it as South Africans. Um, we, were, we were often told by our European suppliers um, of some of the components that um, they've seen these type of projects before and that it's very unlikely that they succeed. And our comment to them was they haven't met South Africans yet. <laughs>